how to create a grainy gradient textured effect in Photoshop. Go to the gradient tool in the tools panel, select that, then go up here and select a gradient. I'm just gonna go with one of the default gradients, like a rainbow one, and I'm gonna apply it linear. You can apply it radial, angular, etc., And just drag and apply. So you've now got the gradient. What I now wanna do is create a new layer. Layer, new layer, click OK. And I'm gonna fill that with gray. So edit and fill and 50% gray. Click OK. Now I could leave as a layer, but I'm gonna turn it into a smart object. Smart objects are great because what you can do, you can edit them at a later point. So layer and down to smart objects, convert to smart object. So it's now a smart object. Go to filter and noise and add noise. Now I'm gonna go for 70%, uniform and monochromatic. I don't want to add any additional color, so I'm just gonna go with that and click OK. I want to blur. I want to create some sort of motion across this. So motion blur. Now you can see there you've got the add noise, that's added as a smart filter, so I can edit it later if I wanted to. But filter and blur and motion blur. You can add 15, 20 additional filters all down that long list, which you can edit at any time. Now set the angle to zero, and I'm gonna go with, well, can change it, 120, 180, whatever you want for the distance. Click OK, and you can see you've got that there. However, what I now want is to go the other way. So I'm just gonna duplicate this one. So layer, and down to duplicate. Uh, it's duplicate layer, click that, there, you could of course give it names, etc. However, you can see exactly the same smart filters have been added. Exactly the same motion blur and add noise. I'm not going to change the noise, but I'm going to change the motion blur. So double click that, and this brings this up. I'm going to keep 120, reasonable, but I'm going to set it to 90, so it's going the other direction, perpendicular. So down there, and click OK. So with that change, you can't see the gradient, you can't see the other noise. But what you can do is you go over here and you've got blending modes. So down there, you go with light and overlay. I'm gonna go with overlay first, but you can try them out. Click that one and the same. Go down there and overlay. And you might think, you know what, that's not as good as it could be. Maybe go another one. And you can see both running through. Go with hard light. Go up to this one. So hard light for that one as well. And just see which one you like for your texture gradient effect. And you can still edit this. So if you decide, you know what, that blur is wrong or that setting could be a bit better, you can change it, as you can change these. You can also change a gradient as well. It's still live. So you can go down here and just add, edit, apply another one. So gradient tool, let's just go for another, there, select that one and apply that one instead. And you can see the effect there or one of the other gradients. So you can change these, you can change the noise, reduce it down or increase it if you wish, and much, much more. Of course, once you're happy with it, once you decide that's it, you can just simply go to layer and flatten image, or maybe convert the whole lot into a smart object, up to you. And of course, once you've got this, you can apply other effects. So you can go to filters and apply additional effects to this maybe recolor it, etc. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.